Hi everyone, this is Dhawal Gada. I track financial sector at DSP Mutual Fund. Just to give some context, financial sector accounts for 36% weight in the benchmark and approximately 39% share in the profit contribution for the benchmark. I will take you through our sector outlook in two parts. In the first part, we will cover the lending space sector outlook. Overall, we remain extremely constructive on outlook for banks and NBFC for 2022 driven by improving credit growth, normalization in stress asset provisioning which will drive significant improvement in sector profitability. This coupled with the reasonable valuation makes case for a very attractive risk reward. Uh, for instance, if you see the profit chart for our coverage bank, they saw 27% CAGR in profit between FY9 to FY14. Thereafter, impacted by corporate NPA cycle, profits grew by about 5% CAGR for the next 5 years. In the last 2 years, that is FY20 and 21, we saw 28% CAGR in profits despite COVID impact. For the next 3 years, which is FY22 to 24, we expect another 28% CAGR in profits. Thereby, for the same FY19 to 24 period, which is post the corporate NPA cycle, we will be back to the pre-corporate NPA cycle earning profile, uh, broadly similar level. So in our view, the focus will shift on credit growth. If we look at the long term relationship of credit growth and non-performing asset, as stress starts moderating, credit growth starts accelerating. Please note that credit growth has been shown in reverse scale to highlight the directional relationship. If we look at last two years, we have seen that the relationship has broken partly in FY20 because of growth slowdown and in FY21 because of COVID. Going forward, we expect this directional relationship to hold true and therefore we expect credit growth to start accelerating as stress starts moderating. If you deep dive into credit growth, we saw high teens credit growth between FY9 to 14. And part of the reason was corporate credit during this period accounted for almost 6 to 10 percentage point in each of these years. Thereafter, impacted by the NPA cycle, contribution from corporate credit growth fell to almost flat in the you know, next 5 years. What we have seen in the last 9 months is some initial signs of pickup in corporate credit growth and therefore overall system credit growth has also moved to high single digit. We expect this trend to continue and overall we expect uh, you know, low double digit credit growth in FY23 and mid teens credit growth in FY24, partly driven by normalization in corporate credit contribution. Finally, on valuations, if you see the long term valuation charts, we are below average uh, for uh, banks in aggregate and slightly above average for NBFCs. We think that given our earnings outlook, the risk reward remains fairly, uh, you know, favorable at current price point. So moving on to our outlook on the life insurance space, we see a similar movie uh, repeating like we saw in private sector banks, uh, which is, uh, you know, if you see uh, private sector life insurance company have been gaining uh, market share uh, for the last 20 odd years. And uh, if you look at the uh, growth uh, numbers as well, uh, they've grown at about 20% uh, CAGR uh, for the last uh, 15 years in terms of new business premium, despite uh, several, uh, several uh, regulatory changes in this period. Uh, we expect this uh, trend to continue and the top 10 uh, players which is including uh, PSUs to account for more than 95% share uh, in the next uh, 10 years in terms of uh, new business premium. Uh, this reflects the uh, you know some of the inherent features of life insurance business uh, which is around trust, uh, distribution strength uh, and uh, you know some uh, uh, legacy franchise uh, which will drive uh, this uh, uh, sort of consolidation in market share. And on, on profitability, what we've done is uh, we've indexed uh, the uh, value of new business, uh, which is uh, uh, nothing but uh, economic, uh, you know, profit of uh, the policies that you've written in that particular year. So we've indexed that to 100 uh, in FI16, as we don't have, uh, uh, you know, listed period uh, data uh, before that. Uh, so uh, that number from FI16 to 21 has grown at 27% CAGR for all the listed uh, life insurers. And then, uh, you know, we expect this uh, number, this trend to continue and we expect about 26% CAGR between FY22 to 24. Uh, please keep in mind that in FY20 and 21, uh, we saw uh, COVID related impacts, uh, which is on, uh, you know, higher uh, death related assumptions uh, play, uh, take place. And also, you know, uh, the level of uh, uh, renewal premium uh, sort of went down in the uh, initial part of uh, uh, the COVID period. Uh, so uh, overall, uh, you know, 
uh, despite uh, all the covid impact we are seeing uh, you know more than 25% uh, growth in the uh, profit uh, economic profit of uh, the business that uh, uh, the private insurers are underwriting uh, also one uh, point that i would like to mention is uh, you know if you look at uh, fy21 uh, as a uh, example uh, the share of uh, top 4 private life insurers in terms of uh, value of new business uh, so if you cumulate uh, that value of new business for fy21 that is uh, you know 40 to 80 percentage point higher than the uh, uh, psu uh, uh, segment uh, despite uh, their share in new business being one third of the PSU segment. So that is the level of profitability that private insurers are enjoying and we expect further improvement in margins uh, uh, on top of the uh, you know uh, high uh, double digit growth in uh, new business that we saw in the previous chart. Uh, so overall we remain very uh, positive on the private life insurance space from a medium to long term perspective. Finally. Uh, on valuation, if you look at uh, the uh, listed period uh, data for uh, private life insurers, uh, they are currently trading below the average uh, level. Uh, uh, this is limited data, but broadly we, we think that given their uh, return profile, the growth profile and the margin profile, uh, we, we think that uh, uh, this is a very attractive risk reward, uh, very similar to what we saw in the uh, uh, bank space as well. Uh, so overall, uh, we remain uh, fairly com uh, comfortable uh, and uh, constructive in the space. Uh, finally, uh, I would uh, like to uh, you know highlight that uh, if you have any comments, suggestion, or question, please drop them in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.